program Monday and Thursdays at 9 a.m. live on the KSJE Facebook page and YouTube channel. Each episode we get to hear from local medical experts, community leaders, and more. Join us every Monday and Thursday at 9 a.m. live on Facebook and YouTube and every afternoon at 5.06 on KSJE 90.9 FM and 103.3 FM. A new topic, local favorites will be featured every other Wednesday on Roving with the Arts with me, your host, Mick Hess. I'll be talking with local classical, jazz, and folk musicians about their favorite styles of music and hear musical excerpts that are some of their favorites. You'll even find out what kind of music they would want to hear if they were stranded on a Pacific island. Join me for some interesting and entertaining musical insights of some of your favorite local musicians. Travel is one of life's great rewards, and there's always something new to see and experience when you travel the world like I do. Hi, I'm Rick Steves. Join me as we get better acquainted with the world each week on Travel with Rick Steves. Together, we'll explore fascinating sights, discover amazing food, and make new friends from near and far. Your radio is the only passport you'll need. Join us for Travel with Rick Steves, Saturday afternoons at 1 on KSJE. Joining me now to talk a little bit about some contests and uh, projects that are available, scholarships for local students. Mark Decker is here. He is the quartermaster with VW, VFW Post 9517. Mark, good morning. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate you having us again this year. You bet. Good to see you and have you here to talk about these things that are available for students, as I mentioned, right? The VFW does this every year. We talk about them. The deadline is fast approaching. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, about three weeks away now, so it's October 31st. You have to have these entries into. Okay, and so as always, it's the uh, it's you're asking uh, for certain grade level students that these things are open for certain grades, and so we'll talk about each one that's available for for students to maybe uh, think about entering. And uh, the prizes are pretty substantial, right? There's some pretty decent scholarships oh, involved. Oh yes, there's some very nice handouts and and amounts of money that are given out and everything. Very good. Well, excellent. Well, let's talk about the first one, which is the uh, Patriots Pen, which is kind of an essay writing uh, competition. And again, it's due on the 31st, but it has a theme this year. Yes. Every year has a theme. Every year has a theme. This year's theme is, what is patriotism to me? Okay. That has to be the title of the essay. Right. It's a 300 to 400 word essay, grades 6 through 8 for the student. Okay. And they have to write this essay. They can have adults give input and check spelling and stuff like that. But it has to be the students doing the entry for it. Okay. The, the writing has to really come from the student. But yes, mom or does. dad or somebody, grandma, grandpa can check over yeah. uh, for spelling and things like that before you hit the enter key. Yeah, and make sure that you know, they can read it over and say, no, this doesn't make sense. Because sometimes when you write it yourself, you know what you're saying. But when somebody else reads it, it's backwards. So. Story of my life. <laughs> That's right. That's true. So there you go. But that's available, and again, you mentioned for um, students in grades 6, 7, and 8. Yes. That is this competition, and the grand prize is uh, 5000 bucks. First thousand, or $5,000 for first place in the nation. Okay. Now, we do hand out awards at the post, and then up to the district, and up to the state level also. All right. So even if you, you, know, you don't win the $5,000, you can still get some awards out of it and everything. From the local posts, you're saying, yes, right? Yes, so from the local posts. That's great. And then, of course, if you do win locally, you would move on to those other competitions. Correct. Then you move on. If you win the post, then you move up to district. You win that, you go to state. You win that, you go to national. Okay. Where you're competing against 51 other departments is what we call in the VFW. Because it's the 50 states plus Europe and the Pacific areas. Okay. And this is an online um, entry, right? You can go online and get the form, Okay. and then you have to write your essay, and then you have to turn in your essay and the form into the local VFW post. That's how you would hand it in. But we put up your name and your phone number on the screen for folks who are watching this morning, so folks can give you a call or send you an email if they have a yes, question they, about this. They can get a hold of me at either my phone or my email. I take text messages, phone calls, emails, or you can get a hold of any local VFW post that you know of and talk to them about this, because it is worldwide. So it's not just here in the four corners. If you know of anybody that's sixth through eighth grade anywhere in the world, they're eligible for this. Okay, very good. And for a radio audience, I'll read off your phone number here, 505-947-5179. 
That's 947-5179. If you have a question, you can give Mark Decker a call. That is the Patriots pen. And then we have another um, competition, if you will, which is another essay um, audio essay competition. This is the Voice of Democracy, and this is for older students, right? Yes, this is for kids in ninth through 12th grade, okay. so high school students. Right. And this is a speech contest. They have to write out their essay and turn that in, but they also have to record it, whether it's on a thumb drive or a CD or whatever, and turn that in. Okay. The subject this year is, is this the country the founders envisioned? It can be however the kids think about it. They can answer it however they want. Okay. Just make sure that they can verify why they think that way. And Support it is a, their ideas, I yes. guess, right? Like and it's most a essays. three to five minute speech. Okay. Make sure it is three to five. If it's less than three minutes, we have to disqualify it. If it's over five minutes, we have to disqualify it. So get within those two minute range. You sound like me in my public speaking class when yes. I talk to my students about the length of the speech they have to give. So, but that is important, right? I mean, that's, and so if you practice, you would know how long your essay is. Exactly, and do it a couple times, see it, uh, tape it, see how long it says that you're doing it, and then adjust it as necessary. Sure, and I know everybody who's listening within the sound of our voices has a smartphone with a timer on it, then they can time their their essay so yes that's not a problem everybody and the grand prize here is is kind of big dollars yes this is a thirty thousand dollar scholarship to wow. any post-secondary school so it can go to a trade school it can go to a votech it can go to a university anything like that you can even if you ha get other scholarships and don't have to pay for your bachelor's degree you can use this on your master's degree so mm. it's any post-secondary Schooling. So the award goes to the student, but they can use it at their at the school of their choice. Yes, is what you're saying. Got it. That's thirty grand. That would pay for quite a bit. Yes, that would. So <laughs> there, there you are. And are there other smaller prizes as well along the way? Yes, there. Uh, again, we give out at the local post level. If they win that, they go to the district level. If they win that, they go to the state level. And there's awards normally for the top three at every at every step of the way. Okay, very good. And same deadline of the end of this month, October 31st. Correct, October is 31st. It has to be into the local post. Okay. Very good. And so same rules apply. I guess you need to submit that either on a thumb drive or a CD. As you said, that recording needs to be along with the paper essay yes. and the form to the post. Yes, it all has to be there. And the form, the actual speech, and then the actual thumb drive or CD so that we can actually listen to it because they get, that's what gets passed from one, one layer to the next. Right. So you'll have a chance to do that. So that's coming up again. The Voice of Democracy for, again, students in grades 9 through 12. And you have to be in that grade level by, by October 31st. Is that the kind if of the I'm, rule? Whatever grade you're in on October 31st, that's the grade we assume you're in. Right. Got you. And, again, this is open. We talk about students, right? Open to public school students, homeschooled students. It doesn't matter. Anybody that is going to school between ninth and 12th grade. Okay. Perfect. And the third thing I want to ask you about, and before we get to something else, there's actually two more things I want to ask you about, but the third thing is um, an award for teachers. Correct. We have a teacher's award. This is between kindergarten through fifth grade, sixth through eighth grade, and then ninth through twelfth grade. So we have three different categories. Okay. If you know of any teacher that has done an exceptional job this year or in past years, you can nominate them. The form is really easy to do. You write up up to 300 words why you think they deserve it. Send in their resume with a picture and any awards that they've received and submit it to us again by October 31st. Again, they compete at the local post. They win that, they go to the district. They win that, they go to state. They win that, they go to national. Nice. First place in the nation, the teacher gets $1,000, the school gets $1,000, and the school district gets $1,000. So it is something that could help out yeah. the entire area. Very true. And so, again, um, that is open between now and the end of the month. Um, same thing. Yes. Forms online. Forms online. You can do that. And the thing about teachers, the VFW feels anybody that spends half of the school day with students is a teacher. Oh, okay. So it can be a coach. It can be the person up in the front desk that deals with the, te with the students all the time. Right. It can be the principal. Anybody along that line's if they spend half the day with the students, they are considered a teacher. They would qualify. Yes. Got it. Okay, very good. And again, if folks have questions, they can give you a call or send you an email. Yes. Call me at 
5179 or email me at mdecker19020 at yahoo.com. I will give you all the information you need about this, be able to answer any questions you have or anything else. Okay. All right. And last but certainly not least, you are doing a... Uh a food drive, right, on October 17th. That is coming up here in a couple of weeks. Yes, that is just around the corner here. It is around the corner, actually, um, a week from tomorrow. Yes. The Veterans of Foreign Wars and our auxiliary have, knows that New Mexico right now is in a lot of problems. People are out of work. People yeah. don't have money. So we, across the state, all the VFWs and all their auxiliaries have got together, and we're going to do a food drive on October 17th from 9 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We will take any kind of non-perishable foods. You can contact your local VFWs to find out where they're doing them. In this area around us, Aztec VFW is doing theirs at the Safeway in Aztec. Okay. The Shiprock VFW is doing theirs at Auto Dock in Kirtland. That is at 4156 U.S. Highway 64 in Kirtland, um, because we're not sure if the Navajo Nation is going to be on the weekend lockdown or not. Right. So we moved off Kirtland. the reservation to get that. Okay. And the Farmington one, they are looking at doing theirs at the Walmart, but they have not got the permission back from the Walmart yet, just yet. Okay. So. But we know we're going to be over in Aztec at the Safeway and in Chipra, or in Kirtland, pardon me, along Highway 64. Yes. Collecting food. And you're looking for... Non-perishable types of food, the usual types of things that families could use? Yeah, anything, um, non-perishable foods, hygiene products, anything like that that you want to turn into us so we, that the food banks in the local area, because that's what we're doing is turning them over to the food banks, okay. and then they're going to be able to hand them out to anybody that comes to them that needs money, or needs food or anything like that. They have said they are getting quite a bit of food, but they are really short on hygiene products because a lot of people aren't thinking about that. So. Right. So that would be an important thing to, uh, to donate. So yes. folks can, can do that. But put that on your calendars, everybody, for uh, next Saturday, October 17th, between the hours of 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. That's a long day, but you guys will be out there. Yes, it is. And we are doing social distancing on that. Mm -hmm. uh, we will have masks on. We will even have it where you can drive up, and we can get the stuff out of the vehicle for you, so you do not have to get out and expose nice. yourself or anything else. So. Okay. Very good. Well, all good things uh, that the VFW does in the area. We appreciate that. Of course, the other things for the students, just a quick reminder for everybody, the uh, Teacher Award. Uh, again, those nominations are due by October 31st. October 31st. Okay, and you can find that online or give uh, Mark a call. The other Voice of Democracy audio essay competition, Is This the Country the Founders Envisioned? Again, due by October 31st. Those are high school kids, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th that is grades. high school kids, so get the high school kids out there doing this speech. They all like to talk on their phone anyway, so have just, them do something good. Just hit record. Fun. There you go. And there you perfect. And then, of course, the uh, Patriots pen. What is patriotism to me? And those are for 6th, 7th, and 8th graders. Correct. That is the middle school kids. And, again, all three of those have to be in by October 31st. So that's just a couple weeks away. That's true. So get to work on it now. But perfect. Mark Decker coming in. Thank you for having us. Thank you, you bet. Good to see you. Mark Decker from the VFW, my guest here on KSJE.